interesting. Outside of the market, there is toys and customs, but inside of the market, like the real heart of the market, there is traditional medicine and witchcraft. People came to this market for three main things: health, love, and money. Did you spit on my neck? Yes. <laughs> They began to sell like a traditional herbs for like for medicine. Yeah. Traditional medicine from Mexico. They used to sell it here. And from there they began to sell like different products for like religion and from witchcraft. So it's like they began to like began to build it and it's like a really interesting outside of the market there is toys and customs but inside of the market like the real heart of the market there is traditional medicine and witchcraft we're walking down this looks like just full of toys and kids stuff but if you keep walking in the heart of this little market is what they call brujeria 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 which is sort of like a witchcraft tradition here in Mexico hidden amongst children's gifts. Such a strange place to have witchcraft <laughs> products. Not touch. <laughs> People don't like that. This is a combo. A combo. Like an like an altar. There is not there is like a protection. There is a aloe vera for good health. They have some garlic like here. Behind they have some, some <laughs> garlic for vampires. They have the horseshoe for good luck. The pyramid. The pyramid is not even from Mexico, there is from Egypt. Catholic image, some seeds, some different powders. So everything is different. And what is interesting about this market is there's like a mixture between different religions. For example, you can see the star of the Jewish. Yeah, like the star of David. David. Yeah. And there's like the there's like the cross, they have some scissors. This guy is Jesus Malverde. Actually he's a he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy? Yeah, if you're a drug dealer, you're going to believe in Jesus Malverde. Okay. And everything is together, it's like like you see. You believe in vampires? Um there's not like vampires like they are gonna take you the there's like a energetic vampires that are gonna took your energy to right. absorb you. Okay. But there is not like a vampire that's gonna want. suck your blood, yeah. Yeah. That's when it's sachets or powders. If you like a handsome girl, oh shit. You cannot um, it's like you have a couple uh -huh. and your girl is really crazy and you're gonna leave her. She said you cannot have sex with anyone except me or something like that. If you wanna get a job this is for job. It's not actually to get a job. It's like if your co-worker is gonna get that raise, you're gonna get it instead of him. Okay. This is like if you, if you're, if you're, if you, if your couple is is, is having an affair, uh -huh. you can break up with that affair. If you wanna grab something, if you want to attract someone. And how do you do this? You take it, you drink it or something, or you give it to somebody? You there's have to sneak like a, it to them? There's like a powder, so it's like everything is going to depend on... Uh, they are going to tell you how, how you need to took it or how you are going to put it on the, on the other person. We're going to have this one. If you want to someone be a follower of you, you're going to use this one. With this little lamp, the or, lamp. or whatever. If you want to attract like handsome boys, handsome boys. Yeah. If you want to attract fur girls, you're gonna use this one. If you want to remove the underwear of someone, you're gonna use Ooh, this okay. one. Ooh, okay. That's a good. That's I'll remember that one. So, if you want to attract someone, so there is a lot of different things. People came to this market for three main things: health love and money so if you have problems with one of those probably you're gonna came here and ask for advice to the people it's so funny they just have toys right <laughs> yeah here. if you want to if you want to uh, do witchcraft to get handsome boys or if you want to get some footballs it's all right here they got everything yeah mexico's got it all this is there is a bunch of hair 
There's a horse tail. Oh, it's a horse tail. Yeah. And he's just shoving a bunch of horse tails into a bag. Interesting. And there's a lot of Hispanic, uh, like Native American from yeah. the United States, but they are also from Mexico. A long time ago, before the the Spanish and everyone came to America, all America were like one together. Yeah. Are these voodoo dolls or just little dolls? No, this is they came from Santeria. Santeria, which is the African. Sort there was of the African that was black, and this is the Santa Muerte. And they, you can buy and you can change the dress. And how popular is the worship of uh, Santa Muerte here in Mexico? Pretty much, especially like, the people who love incomes. They love incomes, so people that are sort of chasing yeah. that kind of stuff, the material stuff, then you would worship Actually, her. Yes. There is like all over, there is for different people, but mostly for them. Yeah. Oh, starfish. Oh shit, what is this thing? Skunk. 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 This place has weird vibes. Hola. For the cartas 100 pesos. For the hands is 100 pesos. 100 pesos? So we're gonna hire a. What do you call these? You call them a brujo? Um, a brujo? like a shaman. Like a shaman. Okay. Uh, or curandero. Curandero, yeah. Curandero. So um, we're gonna hire a. Uh, a curandero to do some witchcraft on me. No, that actually is to remove the witchcraft. Oh, to remove the witchcraft. It's to be clean. You're gonna clean They're gonna cleanse me, you. okay. Yeah. <sighs> Are you afraid? Can, can I pay them to do something bad to me? Okay. Uh, you have to tell your name to him. Dakota. Three times. Dakota. Dakota. Huevo absorbe todo lo que tú traigas sin tranquilidad, pesadez, maldad, daño. The egg is going to absorb all your bad energy that you have, all the bad vibes that you have around you. So there is going to wrap up in your body to collect it and to remove it. The herbs. You have something in your bag. And the herbs is gonna help to the to the egg to remove all the bad vibes. That you have something in your back and your neck. Yeah, my back's been hurting lately, the last few days actually. Dice que le ha dolido mucho la espalda. Sí, todo esto de aquí, es donde cargamos toda esa mala energía. We're gonna clean with the herbs again. Hmm? Did you have did you ever have a cleaning? No. No, dice que no. Siempre es importante hacernos una limpia, despojarnos de toda esa mala energía, toda esa envidia que absorbe el cuerpo durante el día. It is important to make a cleaning once in a while. Take it your with hands. You need to dry it. Drop it. Drop it on the floor and clean your feet with it. Like how? Clean your 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 feet. Yeah, but you totally your both 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 feet. Yeah, just clean it. They are going to remove everything from you. Yes. Y esto es para limpiar su aura. They're gonna clean your aura with the with the tabaco. Cierra tus ojos. Close your eyes. Yes. 
cerebro. ¿Cómo se sentiste? ¿Cómo se sintió? How do you feel? Wet. <laughs> mojado, dice que mojado. Yeah. Do you spit on my neck? Yes. <laughs> they spill alcohol. They just uh, chop the alcohol in the spray. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm getting ready to leave Mexico City and I'm going to go to a place called a state in Mexico called Veracruz, which they have a little town there called Catamaco. And in Catamaco is uh, it's basically a witchcraft town. Um, yeah, so that's the next adventure.